And we're back. And we're back. But I will do that when we come back. So. Okay. Yeah. All right. This is called The Gazing Geisha. I like this piece. It's super cool. It looks like one of those fans. Well, it is one of those, I think, one of those fans um, that the geishas would use. But you open this up and you see the reflection. Now, the geisha can show you anything that you ask for. Anything at all that you ask for. But if, it does show you in your mind. I don't want people thinking when they open this up, it's like a television screen. Oh, yeah, no. Because then they're going to send it back. So yeah. we need to make it very clear. So it shows you in your mind. Yeah, it, it, it will show you in your mind. So what you do with this piece, you can actually carry this with you. It is a keychain, okay? It is vintage. This is not a new and modern piece. It has some copper and some gold on it and some regular metal. And what you do with this piece is, here you can lay it down so you can see it. What you would do with this piece is, like I said, you could carry it around with you. And if you have a question, if there's something you need to know, let, let's say like you're, you're at work and something dire comes up and you want to know the answer to that, you would hold it in your hand and just open it up. Let, let your eyes be seen in that mirror. Look at each eye, close it up, hold it in your hand and give it just a few moments. The answer will appear to you. In your mind. Now, no matter how stressed you are, just give yourself that one to two minutes to relax because that is all it takes it's a really good piece okay moving on moving on and that is 38 dollars. 38 dollars. nice vintage piece this is for global domination now this isn't 38 dollars. okay global do domination is not 38 dollars. it's a little mat or a little uh little globe wow. this is for the person that needs all the power it has a loop on it you wear it this is for the person that needs all the power and magic to accomplish what they need no matter where they're at no matter what it is whether and i'll be honest with you whether it's dark magic white magic or dual magic and it'll move go ahead and turn it now how, how does this piece work this is very easy Dang it. you'll you'll actually have it on a chain so you'll have it on a chain and you will say okay i need you know this I need I need to be able to conquer this subject this situation this person now a lot of people use these things um, to conquer people that are standing in their way of what they want to get this piece does not come with karma it is safe from karma as long as you are not doing it just to do it. If the person is out to get you, if they've done things to you, if they're causing your life misery for not a good reason, you will not have karma. If you're just like, you know what, I don't like her face. <laughs> I'm going to get her. You're probably going to have some karma. I'm just going to be honest with you. It's not totally karma free. It's, it's karma free if the person is evil. Like right now, I have a customer who has a mother-in-law that is a pretty evil being. If you feel that she would have karma using this to get rid of her, you would not. And you wouldn't because of the things that she does to you. Now, if she did nothing to you, you just didn't want her in your house, you're probably going to have a problem. Okay, so what's the next one? Show me what else you got. These barrettes here. Yeah, let's show them all. These aren't barrettes. These are hair claws. Uh, well, what yeah, like there? actually sit some up. Like sit them up like the other way. I, I love the red one personally. You should see what it looks like here. They do work. I I actually put one that I kept in my hair. She so did. They do work. Yeah, because I I, the reason I checked them out is I want to make sure they actually hold in the hair. These are all metal. These are not plastic. They're uh, a heavier metal. So you can twist your hair up, put it up, clamp it on. It's not going to come out. And that's what they look like. These are for your hair health, scalp health, hair growth, and um, beautification of your hair. Now, I had some of these What about before. that, like fuller hair? Yeah, yeah, fuller hair if your hair's thin. Um, protection of your hair. The health of your hair. The health of your scalp. So, this does it all. Growth. Now, I mainly, I mainly tell people to use them for growth. But if you have bad hair... It can help it with bad hair, too. What if you have really greasy hair because you don't take showers for a week? What? Yeah. That ain't helping you. That's not like, getting a damn shower. I know, this, I know this girl 
and she has really greasy hair. Oh god! Oh god! I know who you're talking about. Oh my and god! Stop! If she would stop. wear, if she would stop. wear that, would her hair stop being so greasy? No, you need a shower. Yeah, I think she might need a shower. Stop! You we gotta should, have a we shower. We should tell her. No, I'm not telling her. Oh. Okay. Y- yes, for something like that, you need a shower. Oh, okay. Okay, now. You never be too now. sure. No, no, Let's no. Let's do no, this no. one. I like this okay. one. Okay. Here we go. This is called the. Uh, the animal, animalistic. Oh, how much are those? Um, those are thirty-eight dollars. The hair pieces. Okay. Okay, just so you know, thirty-eight bucks. This is called the animalistic spark. Um, this represents the earth. This represents your um, crown chakra. This is your anim, anal, I can't say that word. Animalistic tendencies. Um, what you do is you wear this piece. The um. The powers react with one another, and it takes you back to your very first ever primal form, meaning your first life form. Why would you want to do that? I mean, why wouldn't you want to do that? You probably have hidden powers and abilities from um, your very first life form throughout your life forms. You don't know how many life forms you've had, so you'll be able to use this piece to travel back through your mind, do past life regression on yourself, um, and see all the various lives that you've lived. Um, to relive them if you want to do that and to acquire the powers and abilities that you've had um, You know prior to your your current life cycle Also, you'll be able to figure out how the people that are in your life now fit into your past lives because Everybody that's in your life most of the people that's in your life have been in your life You know in your past life or something like that just not in the same capacity So you'll be able to see how um, your relationships with the people that you have now used to be I found that fascinating when I used this piece yeah, I did too because I um I know like who um like my my son was and all this crazy stuff and you, and I actually saw it. I d- I did like that. Um and it's not a very expensive piece either. It's it's How much was it? I forget. It, it's thirty eight dollars. Right, there we go. You you can't beat it at thirty eight bucks. <laughs> okay, let's do the um the green unicorn healing piece. Unicorn yep, healing. Here we go. Now this is all natural, real gemstone. Yep, it is real stone green and I, f- I actually forget what this stone is there's a lot of people out there that know what this stone is but i'm just not one of them <laughs> and um it is, it is a unicorn piece it's for healing yes when you wear it this you know this design right here it, it lays against your chest it picks up the heartbeat and the energy of the heart and your intentions to heal it sends that to the unicorn spirit which empowers you to do the healing so you're not relying on a spirit or a creature to do it. You're doing it yourself. You're doing it yourself with a little help. And it, it's it's not a big gaudy piece. It's simple. You don't you, you can have it be seen if you want or not. Um, that piece is $50. There you go. Okay. Now, yes, do that one. This is the occult compass. I mean, let them see this. They're going to have to... You're gonna have to hold this real still so I can get a, okay, there we go. So if you can see this. Uh, you'll see that it holds a spell on the outside. Yeah, the whole thing is spelled, the, the entire piece. And then when you open, open it, it up, up. Hold it down, I'm not like, you see what it looks you like. You might not be able to see it, but the clock is You're stuck at 9 You're gonna have to clean it a bit. It's the it's the it's the clock class. It's kind of yep. frosty looking. So tell them about it. So this is an occult magic piece, and you can the, lay it down. the okay, the spells um. The spells are representative of all the different, um, I don't want to call them shrines, but monuments like pyramids, sphinxes, other types of very unique, odd, and very powerful. You do need to know. They do need to know this does black magic. Structures. Yeah, it does black you, magic. You, you do need to know that. because It, it does, does all magic. It can yes. do white magic and can do black eh, magic. Yeah, but it's really, it does do all magic. It's just real. Oh, sorry. It does do all magic, but it, to be honest with you, it's, um, it is geared more towards those dark magic. into the darker stuff. I'm just, I'm going to be honest. Because I know I have uh, people that don't want to buy anything like that, so I need to let them know that that right. is what it is. Because we don't have anybody to that handles this stuff in a proper way anymore. So, so this does open a portal two times a day at nine oh seven a.m. and nine oh seven p.m. And you'll wear this piece, and it will allow your mind to um, 
astral travel through the portal that the spells open and to deliver yourself to the different monuments and different uh, shrines and holy places throughout the universe, not just on Earth, but throughout the <clears throat> But I, I, I need also to let them know because you're telling them holy pieces, um, holy places. And the thing is... Uh, sacred places. Yes, but, you know, some of those sacred places are white light that, that you'll some go them, to. Most of them, But it yeah. will pervert that and change that to dark magic. Right. Yeah, now, dark magic. I'm going to tell you how you can prevent that. If you want to do everything it does and um, have all those powers, but you want them in white light, it's very simple. You cannot, we cannot change this piece. Like some pieces, it can be deadened or whatever. We can't do, on, uh, do that on this for whatever reason, but you can do is if you have an angelic piece or a white light god-like piece, you can wear it with it. And then that overcomes the energy of this. As long as the piece you're wearing is a very strong, good light. piece. Gotcha. It can't be weak, you know, and, and then it's fine, but you'll have to wear it together. Okay, we will be back. <laughs>